Good morning again. Next time you buy cocktail ingredients, why not consider expanding your horizons and trying something new? Here to show us unique options from Beam Suntory is Haley Holman. It's good to meet you. You as well. Thank You've you. You've brought some beautiful things here. Yes. And so we're talking about Japanese whiskey, which is a big thing these days. Tell me a little bit about it. Sure. So this is Toki, um, Suntory Toki, and it's actually, so it's made in Japan, um, and it's a blend with both uh, malt and grain whiskey from mm -hmm. three different distilleries in Japan. Our Yamazaki distillery, Hakushu, and then the Cheetah distillery. So what do we do with this? So we're going to make a Toki highball Drink it, today. I know, but we'll drink it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's a very effervescent uh, mm -hmm. cocktail that we're going to have, really mm -hmm. refreshing for the summertime. And uh, do you want to try and make it? Let's do it. Okay. So uh, very simply, we're going to make a highball. So we'll use uh, one part toki to three parts soda water. All right. So get our highball mug here. And you can use whatever you want. The Topo Chico is pretty good. Yeah, so we recommend using a really high quality soda water. You want those tight bubbles um, mm -hmm. to be extra carbonated. That's going to make the cocktail more refreshing and going to really um, show the, show off the aromatics of the whiskey. Right. And if you buy this, buy it in a glass bottle, please. Yep. That's also important. That smells so good. Yeah, so you can you can already smell it, right? You get can, lots of absolutely. pear and apple on the nose. Um, so I'm going to just fill a little bit of ice first to chill down the whiskey before adding more ice and soda water. So give it a little stir. Okay. We want it to be extra cold and really refreshing. And then the three parts soda? Three parts soda. So I'll top it off with ice. And then we'll use our high quality soda. I like Topo Chico, Q Soda, or Fever Tree work as mm -hmm. well. Whatever you like. You're going to eyeball it there? Just eyeball it. I can fill the glass. We've got the right size glass here. This and is then, pretty cool too. What is this little container for the ice? So this is a cypress um, ice bucket. It keeps the ice really cold so it doesn't wow. melt too quickly. That is it's beautiful. Really nice. And then I'll just do a little lemon twist on top of the cocktail. Express those oils to make it really extra mm -hmm. refreshing. Round and around. And there's there you your go. highball. Shall I have a taste? I think you should. It's just repertorial duty, I think. I think so. Oh, that's good. Now, I love whiskey, but that's super refreshing and not at all strong. Right. So, Toki is a really light style Fruity. whiskey, uh, but it's still very complex. It's really approachable, even if you're not a huge whiskey drinker. Right. People or if get you afraid. Are. Yeah, but if you're, in your, if you're a whiskey drinker, you also get those complexities. It's really delicious. That so is delicious. Good for okay. Anyone. So, let's talk about um, Haku vodka. Sure. So, this is the bottle. So, Haku means white, um, referring in Japanese, um, or can be read as brilliant. So, it's referring to mm -hmm. the Japanese uh, white rice that we use um, to distill with. So it's a rice distillate, and it's actually fil filtered with bamboo charcoal, which makes it really um, like creamy and soft, really nice, rich mouthfeel. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. And Roku Jin. Roku uh, means six. Beautiful bottle. Beautiful bottle. It's got all the uh, different botanicals etched into the bottle. Mm -hmm. So the six is referring to the six native Japanese botanicals that are used in it. So we've got Sakura leaf and flower, which is cherry blossom that we harvest in the spring. Uh, two different types of green tea, a Sancho pepper that makes it a little bit, uh, a little bit spicy on the finish. Wow. And then some yuzu citrus peel, which is a native citrus from Japan that gives it this really bright, fresh, high note. Um, really delicious. That sounds delicious. And what yeah. are we going to make with that? So I'm going to make a uh, Suntory vessel using both the Haku vodka and the Roku gin Very and a good. little bit of Lillet. So oh. I've got my mixing glass here. There you go. Anything I can do or just move these things out of your way? I think we're good so for the moment. I might need your help getting some ice. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do, um, actually I'll start with the, the gin. I'll do two parts gin, one part vodka and Lillet. Alrighty. So I'm going to do an ounce of half of the Roku gin. Now if you've had gin before, you've had vodka, you don't know if you're crazy about it or not. These are are different in their taste, are they not? Absolutely. So vodka typically is um, almost tasteless, uh, so it's just uh, uh, very clear and fresh, whereas uh, gin, your um, strongest botanical is always going to be juniper. So the juniper berry has that alpine flavor, um, and but then with our six native botanicals, it's still got that, it's got that, um, the aromatics from the cherry blossom, that kind of uh, richness from the green tea, that spice from the Sancho pepper, and the citrus notes as well. That sounds great. So you've got lots going on. It's pretty complex. <laughs> Use a little bit of uh, Lillet. It's a fortified wine. What does that mean, fortified wine? 
So this is, um, think about, uh, so it's like a wine, but it's a higher proof of the alcohol. Okay. So instead of your typical like red or white wine, we've got a higher proof um, and it'll, it's a little bit more shelf stable. Okay, watch out for this Vesper, then this probably packs a fair amount this of punch. Is, if you're, this is for your martini drinker. Okay. So compared to our Toki Highball, very like refreshing for the summertime, right. this might be after like a hard day's work. This, right? that, this is more serious okay. thing yeah. that's happening yeah. here. So we'll get a, wanna, there's some ice in our mixing glass because we want to. Um, so we want to dilute the cocktail as we stir it, and also chill it with the ice. Now, could you do this in a cocktail shaker? You could. Um, it's going to change the texture of the drink a little bit. So if you're shaking it, you're going to get um, more aeration into the cocktail. So it'll be. Um, uh, it'll dilute faster, but um, stirring it, you're not actually going to get too much air into okay. the cocktail. You're just really chilling it, and. Um, diluting it at the same time. You have a beautiful glass. Yes. It feels like pretty glassware is really coming back. Oh yeah. Everybody's thrifting and looking for cute glasses and various things, which makes it taste better with your eyes. I think so. And it's, you know, classic cocktails are very popular, so why not use a classic exactly. cocktail glass, right? So we'll just put it in our coupe here. And then would you garnish that as well? I'm going to garnish this with a, with a lemon as well. I think that it goes really well with the uh, um, flavors in the gin. You're doing that really well. I have trouble. Oh, I have to you. use a channel knife. I can't do oh, the peeler very well. The Y peeler, once you once you get it, it's a lot easier, <laughs> but um, it's definitely, you, you have to practice. I will practice. I'm sure that I will practice over the summer. That looks beautiful. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. To learn more about Beans, Bean Suntory and the products we talked about today, please visit the website on your screen, or you can visit the link on New Day's website. There's tons of good stuff to shop for. Thank you very much. Thank it you. was very refreshing.